schoolyards program uh, was inspired by a program that was similar uh, in, in inner city Chicago called the Spiral Workshop uh, about five years ago. Um, and we realized that we had such a great resource in the, having the University of Iowa here and having talented artists and, uh, and educators. You sort of utilize art educators uh, in the community to, to, to instruct young people on um, sort of contemporary art techniques, studio art techniques, up and coming artists, and try to get them engaged in, um, uh, in the art world. You know, whether they're artists, you know, serious artists, but, or, or people experimenting with the art process. Or students who don't know that they're artists yet. So um, it was a great experience for my students. They all are in the College of Ed Art Education program, and they um, they are the pre pre service teachers. So this is a fabulous experience for them to be able to design, um, you know, something to do with students, um, and then be able to actually try it out and feel the interaction between them and the students. I am currently in a secondary methods course um, with Claire Baldus and so we kind of got introduced to this opportunity to partner with UAY. In a typical methods course you don't really get that opportunity to work with students so I think it's very cool that here at the University of Iowa that we have been able to work directly with students through our different lessons and getting that experience. We try to give um, these kids an opportunity to do different kinds of pieces of work um, through, like, I think this year we did ceramics, um, I did a bunch of mixed media things. We did shirts and we did cyanotypes. The shoes, what we did is we, um, we took Sharpie and then we like drew on it and um, we put alcohol on it and it like spread out and it looked kind of like tie-dye. My section was drawing and painting. So we worked with a lot of pastel, acrylic. One of the really cool projects we did was we actually finger painted with acrylic. So a lot of the acrylics you'll see are actually the students only use their fingers. So just fun projects like that that they wouldn't normally get to do in the high school classroom. They also get to experience the University of Iowa's campus and us as students there, so I think that that's a cool interaction, a cool opportunity. Anytime you're providing um, you know, high quality art programming to a youth audience, the, the community benefits simply by having youth engaged in skill building, but also connecting with other adults and connecting with, with college students is a tremendous asset. Again, just taking advantage of having the university you know, community as part of our greater community, I think. Um, there's just so many levels that the community benefits by having young people actively engaged in learning and, and, um, and thinking and, and creating. Typically students that signed up for this may not have been given an opportunity to have a show like this before and write artist statements and create tags for their gallery and things like that and I think that that was really awesome to see the students coming up with their different artist statements and talking about themselves as artists. I hope that they again have gained a new appreciation for different ways of creating art and an appreciation for their artwork and being able to analyze it and critique it a little bit. Um, I think that's a great skill to have inside and outside the classroom. We are extremely grateful for the talent, the resources that, that, that Claire's program provides to, to this program. It's, it wouldn't exist without having the talented um, teachers who, who do the program. It just showed me a lot of different ways to show my art. I have something that I look forward to every Thursday because I really like School of the Arts. It feels like such an obvious win-win. Everybody sort of benefits, everybody learns and grows from the experience, and it's, a, it's just a really positive um, environment and tone. Absolutely. You're watching City Channel 4. On TV, online, on demand, on Facebook, and now on the go on your mobile device.